Thank you for tuning in. In the spirit of 16 de Septiembre, which is Mexican Independence Day, we're gonna break down one of the best uh, Mexican fights of recent times, which was Manuel Navarrete versus Oscar Valdez. Uh, let me let you know what I feel about the fight. It was a great fight. You know, uh, props to both guys for coming to the fight and fighting. Uh, no one tried to outbox one another. I mean, nobody was running. Uh, this was a straight fight. Uh, even um, both guys have the, the talent and the skill to uh, fight differently, um, you know, with the boxing, but they didn't do that. I mean, they came at it. Uh, I think that, you know, Navarrete could have probably, you know, fight a little different, which would have been a safer fight, but that's not the way he fights. I mean, this guy fights. He comes forward, uh, he throws uh, looping punches. Um, and, um, you know, well, first of all, let me give hats out to, uh, let me give props to ESPN for putting this fight together in top rank. They've been recently been putting good fights. So thank you guys for doing that. Uh, Timothy Bradley did mention that Navarrete has a horrible footwork in his last fight, or well, the fight with Valdez, and he's 100% right. But those kind, of, uh, those kind of issues can be worked on and his defense is to be worked on. But, you know, again, he fights by coming forward uh, you know, he'll hit you and hit you and then when you attack he will step back uh, There's a couple of things that he can do differently in his defense wise and where his defense can make his offense uh, One quick thing would be, you know, sharpen up his jab, use his jab, fight from the outside and uh, Check the opponent with the straight right hand uh, or even the looping right hands I mean, he can make life a lot easier for himself, but right now he's on a mission to be put on top, right? You can tell he wants all the, you know, he wants the belts for his division but he wants his name, uh, he wants name recognition, and the only way you do that is by fighting and getting knockouts. So that's what this guy, he's on a mission right now. I think that when uh, competition gets, uh, or when he goes, moves up in competition, um, and nothing's harder than Oscar Valdez, but there are, there are some other belts I think he's going for, which means that he may move up. So he's gonna have to sharpen up on defense and sharpen up on his offense uh, to create, uh, sharpen up his defense to create offense. One of the things he can do, again, is a fight from the outside, but when he steps back, which is something he does a lot, you know, he needs to know how to, like, step back. You know, I always tell guys, two steps, two, uh, two steps back is too, too many. You know, don't go three, because then you're going back, back, back. So learn how to stop, pop, grab, turn the guy, uh, use that defensive move into an offensive move. So that's what I would recommend for him and, and other things, but that's just the one simple one. Oscar Valdez, this was probably his last chance for a big, uh, for, for the title, for uh, a big fight like this. Uh, he let it all in the ring. Um, you know, he did what he had to do. He just came up short. But, you know, even being, you know, battered all night with the right eye that was closing or left eye that was closing, um, you know, he, um, he didn't quit. I mean, he went for it. And he almost got, uh, I mean, he won some rounds. So that was good. He showed his medal. Uh, he deserves a lot of credit, and he's had a great career. So he probably have another one or two fights, uh, probably in front of his hometown, and uh, just to to make some money there at the end. But I don't think he will fight any any good competition anymore. Uh, he's did what he's done in this in this sport. So oh, hats off to him, uh, and then hats off to the up and comer Navarrete. I think he's going to be a force to deal with. So. Very interesting to see how these, uh, how Navarrete's uh, career is going to play out. But you know what? He's giving the, the fight fans what they want, and that's a fight, and that's what we want to see. You know, uh, a lot of times uh, fights are built up, uh, there's a lot of hype, and that there's going to be wars in the ring, and you don't get that sometimes. But these guys, Mexican Independence Day, uh, this was one of the best uh, fights that we could have seen, even though it happened last month. Uh, right now is the month to talk about it because this is where all the heritage, all the, uh, all the pedigree, uh, everything that is Mexican was in this fight. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, look into the next video that's coming up. Uh, next one, we're going to break down the rematch between Bud and Earl Spence. And uh, we're also going to be talking about Benavides and Andrade fight coming up. So tune into the next fights. They'll be on the, they'll be on the comment section. Please stay tuned in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and recommend my channel. 
Thank you very much, guys. I like appreciate your support. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.